tell us a little bit about this boat? Uh, we got this boat last year. It's a, uh, made by Lake Assault. It is uh, 28 feet long, nine and a half feet wide. It's the landing craft style, so the front door uh, opens hydraulically like a landing craft. We can put uh, like we see in a D-Day videos, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's yep, what it very looks similar. Like. That's kind of what it's designed. So we can put our brush two, our um, John Deere Gator, on here if we need to bring it upstream. Uh, works good for wheeling patients on and off. I can pull right up to a boat landing and drop this. Um, I'll actually take you upriver uh, to the beach, and we'll uh, we'll demonstrate that for you. Nice. And tell uh, us a bit about the. I'm going to call it the nozzle. Okay, uh, that's a monitor. Uh, this boat is equipped with. Uh, uh, two outboards, uh, they're 225 horsepower piece, and it has a separate motor for the pump. It's a six liter uh, marinized Chevy uh, motor that's 385 horsepower just to run the pump. Um, it's got a 1500, yeah. <laughs> it's got a 1500 gallon a minute pump, uh, so we can put 1500 gallons a minute out of that nozzle, which is remote control. We can control it from the cab, uh, or you can control it out front um, from there. Uh, the nozzle reaction from that nozzle you'll see here in a little bit will actually push the boat back about eight I miles an hour. So uh, how we try to do it, and again we'll demonstrate this later, is you you point that in the general direction and then use the boat to steer the nozzle. Otherwise it would oh, be almost impossible to control. Otherwise you're going everywhere, aren't yep. you? <clears throat> wow. Is this state of the art? This is state of the art. This is uh, as good as they come. Um, we've got all the bells and whistles. You can see here, here we have FLIR up on top. There's a, a infrared camera. That's projected through our uh, Lowrance unit here. Um, so at night, in fog, whatever, you can see from the, the camera here, I can pan it around. Because there's times you're out, you can't see anything, no Absolutely. matter how, how big a spotlight you've got. Absolutely. So we've got uh, the forward-looking infrared camera. Um, we've also got the side scan sonar. So right now, the, the sonar, instead of looking down like a traditional sonar, is actually looking out to the side of the boat. You can see here, it's, I'm looking out 100 feet on this side and 100 feet on this side. So really, that's quite a fish finder. It is quite a fish finder. <laughs> um, it's also equipped with radar. You can see I have a GPS with a chip loaded in here, so I can see all the, the depth, the detail here. And overlaid on top of this is a radar image. So if you're looking at the river, we're coming out of the harbor here and overlaid on top of my GPS is the radar images. You can see a buoy there and a buoy there. Wow, that's amazing. So with the radar, the GPS, and the forward-looking infrared, we can run in all times of day, all weather. Nice. And where did this boat come from? How did the city of Red Wing get the money to pay for this? <clears throat> it's sure a, a lot of people want to know that. It's a Port Authority grant. Uh, we got. We wrote a grant for it and uh, were accepted. Um, you know, being that we service the, the nuclear generating facility, um, we were moved up on the priority list for the grant, so uh, the grant itself paid for most of the boat. I think the city, and I don't don't quote me on the exact numbers, but I think the city contributed about fifty thousand, and the uh, port authority grant was a little over two hundred thousand. Wow! And what is our working radius with the boat? I mean, if you're called from Wabasha, can you go down and help them? We could. Um, okay. I don't know that we have we have mutual aid agreements. Um, how fire departments work is. Uh, Neighboring departments kind of have agreements and, and, hey, if you need help, we'll help you, and if we need help, you help us uh, kind of deal. Um, we're never going to say no. If somebody needs help, we're going to go. Sure. Yep. Um, we have a 50-gallon uh, fuel tank in this boat, so we can can run uh, quite a ways. Uh, there's a couple of fire departments in between here in Wabasha, but there I know we There are fuel stops here and there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And, and, and there's other departments with boats in between there. It would have to be something pretty bad before we'd have to go to Wabasha. We have gone up and assisted Prescott before. Um, so, How fast will this boat go when we've we'll, we'll got the pedal we'll, to the metal? We'll see in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on, right? Uh, uh, I've had it like 43, 44 miles an hour. Um, this so is a lot of boat to go 43 miles an hour. It's a lot of boat to go 43 miles an hour. Because it looks like it's made of steel, isn't it? It's aluminum. It's all it aluminum. It is, really? Yep. Wow. Looks like heavy gauge aluminum then. It is. It's a, it's a tank. It really is. It's cool. But uh, you'll see in a little bit, it handles like a dream. Um, we'll be going, you know, 40 some miles an hour and it feels like we're just cruising along. So it's a, it's a really nice boat. One of the things that we do, we do warn each other. Uh, if I'm going to come on plane or make a uh, rapid increase, I say coming up, I'd like everybody to repeat it. Okay. When I'm going fast and on plane, if I'm going to come down, I'll say coming down. Everybody repeats it before I do it. Um, hard port, I'll turn left. Hard starboard, I'll turn right. So. 
if you hear me yell something, get ready because <laughs> we're going to turn. So, so if you guys are ready. We are. I'll Kyle, you down. ready? All right, coming up. Coming up. <laughs> 